Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Canon 600D with a Glidecam HD 4000. Um, so when you get your Glidecam it's going to come in three parts, the main part, the bottom and the base plate. Um, so we're just going to take the main part, and so the, the adjusting knob here is facing towards the back, and we're just going to slide it on the top here. Just take it down, make sure it's aligned, and just tighten that bad boy up. Now we're gonna we're gonna get our camera, and we're gonna get our base plate, and we're gonna find the center point. So we're gonna put the base plate on the middle of our hand. See that that way it's going too far to the left, and that way it's going too far to the right. So we just need to find the center point. Um, for this um, camera and lens, it's gonna be the second one from the back. Uh, this is a Tokina 11-16 um, 2.8 MX2. It's got a little bit of weight into it, so um, it's it's quite good for balancing. If you're going to use a lighter uh, lens, like 50 millimeter, um, you probably want to add some weights on the top here, because essentially you want the uh, the top to weigh more than the bottom. For example, usually you'd probably put a couple of weight plates on each side, um, but because the 600D is not very heavy, um, I'm actually putting no weights on the bottom. So we're just going to um, grab a screw and a washer, and we're just going to put this through here. Um, it probably makes sense to get. Probably makes sense to get a um, quick release plate on the top of here. Um, but just for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you with the normal setup how it comes out of the box. Um, just make sure that's all straight and tight. And what we're going to do is we're going to put this on top of the glide cam. And we're going to tighten. Uh, front and back knobs now what you want to do when balancing uh, your camera is get it ready uh, for shooting because any small adjustment can throw the balance off so what I'm going to do is going to take the lens cap off I'm going to switch it on and I'm going to put my viewfinder to the back like that obviously you can have it facing up or down depending if you're doing high or low shots um, but at the moment I'm just playing around with all sorts of shots so I'm just going to have it to the back um, so now we're going to just make sure this is tight I'm just going to pick this up and as you can see it's not very well balanced at all um, to begin with we'll <coughs> it'd be good to do a drop test um, as you can see the the top's uh, heavier, so it's not dropping at all. Um, ideally, we want this um, to drop on its own between two and three seconds. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to raise this pole quite high up. And now we're going to have a look. Obviously it's still not balanced, but we just need to do the drop test. One, two, so yeah, it's about right. So one Mississippi, two Mississippi, that's actually pretty perfect. Um, now for balancing it, we just want to hold it up straight, and it's going to the back. Um, so what we want to do is we want to loosen these screws off here in the middle. Adjusting over the back. It's still going back, so it needs adjusting more. And what it's essentially doing is moving the um, the weight further forward. So 
it's still coming back just a little bit. So we need to keep turning that to the right. A little bit more. Now you can see it's going off to the left. So we need to tighten this knob at the side to the right. My bad. Okay, so what, the way you want to um, work out which way it's going is you always go off the top. So the top is going to the right. So we actually need to bring it back to the left. So we're going to turn this knob to the left. Now you're just going back. We're just going to move it forward. It's going to the left, so we just need to move it a bit to the right. That's fairly perfect. Put it on a flat surface like this table and just pick it up nice and straight and just have a look, see what it's doing. It's a tiny bit off to the left, so I'm just going to do it a little bit more to the right. That's, that's fairly perfect, so you can tweak it exactly, but just for now, I'm going to have that my balance. So I'm just going to tighten these knobs up here. Um, what you want to make sure is these are really tight because um, you don't want um, it adjusting at all, say if you've got it in the back of your car or something. Um, so now we're just going to just pick it up again and it's fairly good. So steering wise we put it to the, we can steer it. So it's face, it's going left so I want, so I want it to go to the right. Gonna work. So yeah, as you can see, it's fairly well balanced. So there you have it. Canon 600D on the Glidecam HD 4000, balanced and ready for shooting. Uh, if you have any questions, hit me up below in the comments and be sure to subscribe and be look forward to more tutorials and dope videos for myself. It's your boy B Watsy, B Boy Watsy at Newt Films. Peace.